I've been playing Mario Party Superstars for about two and a half years now. So I think I have an idea of what minigames are good in this game and what minigames are bad. So with Super Mario Party Jamboree on the rise, I think there is no better time to rank these minigames than right now. Today, I will be going over my top 10 minigames. If you end up liking this video, please consider subscribing or liking the video because that would really help me out. We're very close to 200 subscribers. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. You can't play Mario Party without a little bit of luck. And Bowser's Big Blast brings luck into one of its minigames. But I think it handles it right. The rules are simple. One lever leads to an explosion. Don't pick the lever. This minigame can go on for a very long time. Me and my friend used to always play this minigame, and every single time was super suspenseful. So, huge props to Bowser's Big Blast to keeping its suspense. So, that is why it earns the number 10 spot on this list. In Pokey Pummel, you spam a button for five seconds. So, you're probably wondering right now, if, you, if that's all you're doing, then why the heck is this on the list in the first place? Well, see that score above? Yeah, that's your record. And every time you play this minigame, or at least every time I play this minigame, I always get motivated to beat that record. It's probably not going to happen, but I still get motivated to do it. And that is why it is number nine on this list. Avoiding these penguins and pushy penguins just feels awesome. I don't know why, because like it looks like it's going to be an impossible path, but it's not. And plus, when it feels like you're about to get eliminated, the penguins just like move in all different kinds of directions, opening new paths for you and also shoving other players off. My only problem with this minigame is that it can sometimes end in a tie, but when it doesn't, it is a whole lot of fun and feels very rewarding to win. The thing about paint misbehaving from Mario Party 8 is that you never know what's going to happen at the end. The goal is for you and your teammate to shoot the most Goombas with your paint, but the other team could come back last second and ruin all of your chances of winning. You really never know what's going to happen in this minigame, which is what I like about it. I like mini games where you're always on your toes, and this is a prime example of that. Man, Dungeon Duos really does have everything, from platforming to button mashing to even luck. It's just really does have everything. And this one, you really have to work with your partner. It's not like other 2v2s where one partner can carry the entire team. In this one, you have to work with your partner. It can be very challenging, but can also lead to a very fun ride. Bill Blasters is a free-for-all minigame that is very difficult to time your shoots. Each player has three lives and you have to shoot each one before they shoot you. It is very difficult to time, like I said earlier, but can also be a lot of fun. The suspense is off the charts with this one, leading to very, very, very long and suspenseful final two matches. But this can lead to very fun times. Usher Mix-Up is the first minigame in Mario Party Superstars, and it is a very strong start to this game. Toad holds up the color of the mushroom you're supposed to stand on while the other ones fall. This minigame can go on for very long, but can also get very stressful and suspenseful when competing against your friends. Overall, it is a super, super fun time trying to get on the right mushroom against your friend and possibly knocking them off. You all know it, you all love it. It's Book Squirm from Mario Party 4. But what really puts this one on the list is its endless mode. Who cares about the other players? You just have to go for as long as you can trying to beat your own personal record. That's how it goes for me at least, but I always find this minigame a blast when I'm playing endless mode. Or even normal mode, 
against my friends, trying to knock them into the book. Hot Rope Jump is another minigame that I have lots of fun trying to beat my high score in. It's super fun just trying to jump over the rope that has unpredictable speeds at any moment. But the only reason why I ranked this above Book Squirm is because, well, you don't really bump into anybody, and that's kind of nice, but I just really like trying to beat my record in this game. Well, nine minigames covered, there's only one left, and I have a feeling that not many of you would be suspecting this one. I bet you weren't expecting this to be on the list. Me and my family have played so many rounds of speed hockey, and each one was so much fun. We would all get excited and extremely competitive when the shell would get very fast. This is the one minigame that I can genuinely say that I have a smile on my face every single time I play. Welp, that's it for me. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching, and here's five more seconds of speed hockey.